Hey there, guys. I'm Hello Japan, and welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So, last time we got ourselves three, I guess you can say guilds. The, uh, the, the, uh, the prostitutes, basically. I don't remember the word <laughs> that I used for them. Uh, the thieves, as well as, uh,. What is it? The uh, the fighting guys, the fighting people. <laughs> yes, uh, the thugs, more or less. Uh, and with those three groups, we're hopefully collecting information about the Borgia family, what's going on, what they're doing. Where is the apple? Where is uh, the lady we boned in the beginning of the game? I can't remember her name. I think she was the the wife of the person who ran Forley, though, which. I'm still a little confused about, but you know, it's, it's, it's all good. Uh, but before we continue on with this, well, maybe we'll continue on with the story first. I was planning on just going around and, you know, doing all the city stuff right now. Like, uh, buying locations and doing viewpoints, but I think we're going to go actually do the main story first. I, li I like that idea. Let's go, yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do that first. And along the way, I can pick up a, a few of these new locations. So, let's go do that. First, I want to grab this because I want to see if I can actually get the the black and red color uh, clothing that I actually forgot to buy at the end of the last session. I bought the cape for it, I just didn't buy the actual clothing clothing. Which kind of sucks because it's freaking awesome. It's really, really cool looking. But I don't know if this district actually, ha actually has it because every district has its own color and, you know, it's, it's a little bit different from area to area, so... Oh, and uh, if you notice, 21,000. I, I let the game run in the background for a minute while I took a shower and got ready for this. <laughs> so I, uh, I got some free money. <laughs> More or less free money. So, uh, yes, we'll buy this. And I knew that I was going to be purchasing some stuff at the beginning of the session, so I was like, yeah, let's get some money. Okay, buddy. I also want to... Uh, should I buy some pouches? I don't know. See, we could really use them. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna buy the smoke bomb because the smoke bombs are very, very useful. I will argue that again and again. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's all I really wanted. So now, if we take a look at our our outfit. Excellent. Adio then. Oh, so my goodness, man. So my goodness, it's awesome. So cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's a thief here I'm going to take down. Except there was a guard. You son of a bitch. Okay, well, <laughs> not much I can do about that. So, what else do we have around here in the immediate vicinity? We have fast travel point. Shoot, I'm going to just start, like, going out this way and I don't want to do that. I no, no. We're going to do the fast travel point because it really is useful and then we'll start heading north to the uh, mission location. Because I, I know me, like if I get distracted I'm like, oh, this one's right here, it's really close, I can go to it. I, I'll just just keep going and going and going until there's, it, it, there's no reasonable stopping point. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting that money. That money's getting uh, raked into our bank. Okay, we got a doctor there. Got a bank over here as well. Empty faction building. We'll go ahead and pick that. Uh, pick that up too. Hopefully, I have enough money. Hope I don't run out. I think we, I think we should be good though. I think we should be good. I mean, it can't be too much money, right? Whoa! Hey now. Oh, oh! I, I just fell up the stairs. Did you see that? I didn't think that was actually possible. Oh no! There's three of them again. You no go. <laughs> they were waiting. They heard. They heard me coming, and they knew who it was. They knew I was gonna get mad. Oh my god! There's three of them again. Crazy jerks. Oh, who's upstairs? Oh. Hey, move. You're a dick. Hmm. 
Mm, yeah, we should have enough. I don't know how much the faction buildings are. I think they're only like 2,000, aren't they? I think they should be. I mean, I don't remember from la I actually recorded some of this last night. I don't remember what it was last night. I can also lance boils, pastures, cysts. Uh, good thing I don't have any of those, buddy. Uh, yeah, I don't want you poking at my skin, popping stuff on my body. <laughs> I've never actually had a problem like, well, no, 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 I can't say that. I've had blisters where, you know, like, running, mainly running blisters because, uh, you know, wearing bad shoes when you run can cause you to get blisters on the bottom of your feet or whatever. Some, sometimes, sometimes. And, uh, I just want to run. No, stop, stop, stop. And occasionally, <clears throat> oh god, that's my morning voice, I'm still waking up. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, the, uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, blisters. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's what I, that's happened before where I've had to actually pop it because it either was too big or, I mean, I know technically you're not supposed to pop them, but, come on, it's, it's nasty. <laughs> Freaking blister, it's gross. And I think I've always popped my blisters. I think I have. Maybe. If it, again, if it's big enough. If it's just a little tiny thing, no. no. And I, I wouldn't. But. If you're getting too big, man, you're gone. You're off my foot. Because I don't, I don't think I've ever, ever had a burn blister. Like where I've put my hand or arm against something that's been so hot, like, a, like an oven or whatever. My skin, the way it usually relax, reacts to being burned, is it usually just, uh, it kind of just turns a weird color and it's all flat. I've never really actually had a burn blister before. Do I have enough for you? Yeah, I'm going to put the thieves there because everyone else has already had one so far. So thieves, you're going to go in there. Yes. There's only 1,200. That's not too bad. Got an email. Oh. Fuck. Okay, so... I was planning this by the time this goes up, Evolve might already be out the video game. But I was planning on doing taking part in the Evolve beta, so I pre-installed the game, preloaded it onto Steam, and it was all good to go. And then for whatever reason, when I went to go play it, I was actually gonna live stream it, when I went to go play it, the game wasn't installed anymore. The game uninstalled itself somehow. I have no idea how that's possible. And because my internet's not the greatest. It, it, it took me like six hours to download the 20 some odd gig game, and I was like, you know what? No, fuck this. So now I just got a beta or an, uh, another beta alert saying, hey, come play. We're stress testing right now. No, screw you. <laughs> so dumb. I don't know why it uninstalled itself. I was really looking forward to it. I only played a couple minutes of it uh, when I got into the first beta, but God, I hate it when things like that happen. It just it just gets me so mad, and I get. I'm a very spiteful person, so like, if anything like that goes wrong, I'm like, no, fuck this. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this again. I'm not wait for your game to install. You already dicked me over once. Where in the world's the bank? Oh, there it is. Uh, but again, it's probably just me being a little whiny bitch about it, so I can't really complain too much. <laughs> This was an expensive one. It was 1900, wasn't it? We only have three banks left, guys. Three banks left. That's it. I'm excited. We're getting we're getting closer. We're not getting closer on wrapping everything up. We're getting closer on getting uh, a lot of the city finished up. We still have the landmarks to complete because that requires a lot of money. Uh, there is Taylor. Medicine guy over here, and a faction building. Uh, let's actually take care of this stuff because I think that will that will take care of every major building. Yeah, again, with the exception of like the uh, the monuments here. Yeah, that will take care of everything. Cool beans, man. Let's go. Yeah, let's go do this real quick. It's not that far away. Not that far. Little tiny walk. Actually, a little tiny walk. It seems like it's gonna take a while, actually. Oh, 300? <laughs> uh, okay. Never mind. But yeah, I, I, I keep saying it time and time again. I'm very, very excited to actually get to the newer Assassin's games. Like, crazy, stupid excited. I really, really want them. 
Oh. Oh, there's more. We haven't done the viewpoint in this area. Damn it. Okay, you know what? No, screw this. We're gonna go. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way over there. I just realized we haven't done the viewpoint here, then. Have we? No, because it's it's this. So there's probably a couple other buildings around here. Oh, screw it. We're gonna just go to the mission. No, but I'm, I'm just really excited to get to the new ones I haven't played before. Because a lot of people poo-pooed on uh, Assassin's Creed 3. Again, it, it kind of goes back to the whole thing with Unity, where the game itself isn't bad. They've introduced a lot of mechanics that are actually really good, and they've stuck through with the series. And it's it's really cool. What the shit? I don't get it. What happened there? Why am I being chased? Son of a bitch! You're gonna die. Why were they chasing me like that? What happened there? That was weird. <laughs> what? What was that? I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. Huh. They said something, but I didn't know what they said. I didn't catch it. Okay. Cool, I guess? I, I don't know. That was weird. What was I saying? I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh! Yeah, they, they, like in Assassin's Creed 3, a lot of people poo-pooed poop, poop on that game, too. Just because it was the main character, Connor, he's kind of a, a flat board in terms of character, and he just kind of stinks. But I think the gameplay is more so what draws me to the Assassin's games more so than anything. You could have, like, I could care less what the characters are. It's just, it's fun. The games are fun, and that's all that it really matters to me. It's all that's ever really mattered to me. is gameplay and storytelling. Gameplay and storytelling. Now, if your storytelling sucks, but your gameplay is awesome, it balances out. If your storytelling is awesome, but your gameplay sucks, it's awesome to me. Like, that's just how it's always worked. But if I have both, oh my god, you have a great game. You have a great game on your hands. Salve, cittadini di Roma. Behold a sight most splendid. Caterina Sforza, she whore of Forli has at last been brought to heel. Ha! No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia. Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both? Perhaps at the same time? Chiudi la bocca! None speak ill of the Borgia! The same will happen to any who defy us. Good people of Roma, stay strong! You will be free, your time will come, I swear it! They are going to torture her. You are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Caterina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. Ooh. Castello. Chase.